welcome to Panthaki Learn. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Filters. So Wavelet filters itself available inside this uh, discrete Wavelet transform part. So we have to uh, check that particular section also. Then only we will be able to just uh, compare how the particular the alone dwt and the filters with the dwt will be able to see over there and moreover that before getting into that we have to check this a particular output in grayscale and moreover hereafter we will be just uh, completely going inside the grayscale only the reason is uh, wherever if we just provide this kind of processing maximum more than 80 percentage grayscale is only supported for all the pre-processing techniques while compared to the color or RGB. Why means inside the grayscale we have only two variants one is black and white which varies from 0 to 255 in that intensity. The other thing is if you go for the color we have three variants like 0 to 255 for each and every variance over there. So from that uh, the color extraction everything it might uh, be some sort of little bit complexity and nowadays they are providing some 3D uh, processing and all that is for XYZ architecture now for RGB XYZ architecture 3D images taken with the help of depth camera don't get uh, mistaken for that and uh, the other type of thing is from the grayscale itself we will be able to collect the values of colors so this amount of R this amount of G this amount of B everything was uh, present inside that particular pixel so it is able to apply over here that we will be seeing in upcoming sessions so from that particular uh, functions therefore we have to know that how the filters will be there so that more good comparison we can make it with grayscale so now let us see how that output will be there in grayscale so therefore i have changed only one line and uh, while compared to the color yeah good and best we can say so for that uh, i will just make it as J. So different variable should be provided. That is must. J. Okay. Then now we can just run it. Where is some wrong? So how to add the value of figure so two figures are there now within this uh, it looks like some clumsiness onto the color part it's not uh, that much you know, easily visualizable the same thing if you go for the grayscale means the pattern can be easily recognized over here so uh, within that particular pattern only here also we have to uh, collect it for further processing inside the images so once uh, whenever we are just uh, going regarding towards this kind of different processing techniques onto this itself we will be just uh, going on with comparison for grayscale only along with grayscale we will be going for filters and without filter these two comparison we will be making here so we will be getting back everything to normal and now what I am going to apply Okay, we have to apply our filter so onto that particular filter i am providing what type of filters means low pass decomposition high pass decomposition this will be the variables which it will be storing the value and the function is wavelet filters w filters are known as wavelet filters this filters is completely different from the uh, normal filter whatever we see uh, while compared to the previous filters so this is applied for wavelet transforms only here i am taking the r format with the decomposition part so now low and high are ready now on to the dwt we have some changes we have to call that uh, respective high i mean the image in which we have stored grayscale on to that first we are applying low pass filter 
then we are applying high pass filter then our old uh, methods like we will be applying the mode and then we will be going with uh, simlet so here simlet is not 4 a simlet we are applying for the high value so these are the parameters needed for wavelet filters now i hope everything is ready so the variables variables we are applying with uh, i only anyway here i hope uh, there is no need of i so i is common everywhere okay four images correct only so now uh, many of them will be thinking uh, why this particular first image and here second image is a little bit dot here first image is blank the reason is uh, here once when we have applied the filters the unwanted signals has been removed automatically okay so here this and all according to the image processing this portion was unwanted signals over here also so most of them it has been removed now the same thing like uh, if we compare the rest of the parts like this part and this part are same so here we can see it in the form of some grains uh, and the same thing if we just uh, go for the filtered one means some pattern can be recognized same like here so this portion belongs to this portion a kind of pattern can be recognized over here also then uh, the same thing if we go for here so here we can recognize the almost pattern this noise uh, once one step down it has been reduced so now here we can collect the pattern that the difference between the black and white as easy as possible so that's what they meant for the filters inside the wavelet part because on that we will be able to extract the features little bit more level which makes uh, inside the neural network trainings and all more adaptive that br brings here with uh, filters along with decomposition with dwt platforms now onto this uh, if we just change uh, any other image 12.png for some formats we have to change that uh, respective value so for this image the dwt compression does not uh, appear as a good manner the reason is the image is like that if the image is not a well denoted image then there is no use of applying it okay uh, then let us try with uh, another one yeah so this looks better so here uh, we can see uh, most of the particular thread patterns the fiber metrics which we have used the data that particular thread patterns here it was a little bit difficult to recognize and uh, the same thing if we just uh, go for the filter applied so for that particular filter applied means we can get some more patterns over there except the first level the star level it looks like good so this one comes under the filter with uh, dwt last and final image yeah this also was as a good kind of output i have so while compared to this inside this the compression with filters uh, looks good under this i was able to show you some different different patterns now uh, along with this image we will try to reconstruct so many of them will be thinking the reconstruction word means uh, whether i will be able to reconstruct as a original one that's not possible at all once it is degraded it is degraded straight only maybe some uh, level change a minute change of level can be applied over here onto that level only now we are going so that level it is said as inverse discrete wavelet transform so that particular deep motion completely works on the inverse level now uh, for that particular inverse level uh, we are just going to use the same method but in a different way we are going to read everything so like uh, same wise we have four patterns uh, take reading an image into grayscale and uh, we are giving the parameter as input the same dw2 but here we are providing the decibels level as 4 now from this here we have to 
read that particular reconstructed data so for that i am providing a variable as e equal to here we are applying our inverse dwt to and where and all i have to apply that particular reconstruction that should be mentioned so for the first panel i no need second panel also i no need third panel also i don't need fourth panel is needed and the variable of the fourth panel is d now along with this what is the level of decomposition it comes under the decibels 4 so now one part is ready thank you for watching our video if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel Thank you.